Hello guys, today we'll be looking at roles, relationships and responsibilities. Now, depending on an individual status within the family, the roles, relationship and responsibilities may deviate. What really is status? Well, status can be defined as the relative position or standing of things or especially a person in a society. Now, persons with, within our family can have more than one role or status, such as a woman can be a mother, a daughter, sister, or even an aunt, whilst a man can be a father, husband, uncle, or brother. You get the point, right? Now, some family structures carries authority. Authority within a family structure, whether headed by male or female, an individual can be in authority as well as both persons. In this case, um, where in the case where a mother and a father are um, in authority over children, the father is normally the decision maker, and the mother um, is really the caretaker and will hand down roles and responsibilities to children within the household. Now, what we will be looking at is roles, right? Now, traditional roles of a family. In a traditional setting of a family within society, a male is normally the head of um, that family, which is known as patriarchal. You have, uh, for adult male roles, um, the male is normally the breadwinner. This includes working to provide for the family. Some of the responsibilities of the males are commanding behavior that is ex um, expected of the children, giving moral instructions and support, carrying out punishment and sanctions for unacceptable behavior. Next is the adult female roles, right? The female is really the homemaker and caregiver. She nurtures children catering for emotional needs as well as she is responsible for socializing children to fit in the wider society. The next one is children roles, right? Now, traditional roles of children are to do household chores, running errands like to the grocery shop, and you also have you also have failure to fulfill a role, right? Now, failure to fulfill a role can be based on multiple roles, which can cause negligence of other important roles. Now, we're moving on to relationships. Now, in relationships, conflict may arise if one neglects their roles or responsibilities. Conflict is, an, is a natural part of harm human interaction especially within the family hence this is except um, this is expected um, since this is where we all feel our time is being demanded mostly our energy and emotions are um, often used up individuals with different personalities at different stages of development living the same space right so that's conflict now the other is learning about oneself. This is where individuals learn about their personalities and learn how to manage them. Persons should feel safe enough to express themselves to family when they are not able to do that in the wider society. Now we have conflict between parents. To avoid disagreement between parents, they must first learn to agree on their given roles and responsibilities, balance of um, relationship with family life, financial difficulties are to be dealt with by both partners, and also be faithful to the relationship. Conflict that are not resolved can lead to breaking up of a relationship. Next up is conflict between children and parents. 
Children sometimes may not see the benefit of their responsibilities and sometimes think they are being bullied by parents while parents think that children are being disobedient or unruly. This cause this is cause um this cause conflict between the two. Right? So we're going to move on to conflict between siblings. Now this can simply be um based on different personality types and different stages of development this kind of um, conflict it, it is inevitable okay so um, living together in the same space different age group and also different stages of development can cause conflict between siblings so that's it guys we will continue on this topic um, on the next video Thanks for watching.